A backup power plant on Jurong Island is now up and running. Maranti powers 682 megawatt turbines, can reach full capacity in 25 minutes. And that's enough to power 1 million four-room HDB households. They'll kick in when other plants shut down and replace ageing fast start power generation capacity units. Nashra Rohim has more. Singapore works hard to keep the lights on. The average consumer experiences less than one interruption every year. And even then, it only lasts around 10 to 15 seconds. But when systems fail or energy demand spikes suddenly, backups need to kick in quickly. That's why the government funded these two new open cycle gas turbines. These turbines are more efficient than current ones. It can cut up to 4,000 tonnes of carbon emissions. That's similar to what 200,000 trees absorb in a year. It runs mostly on fossil fuel, but now it can run on up to 30% hydrogen power. That's a cleaner energy source. It's a greener way to keep Singapore's power systems stable. Each of the two 341 megawatt units can start supplying additional power within 10 minutes when needed. The plant also uses artificial intelligence to help with day-to-day -day monitoring. We believe in harnessing technology to make our operations safer, smarter and more efficient. To this end, we are exploring the use of digitalization and artificial intelligence to strengthen our operation and support plant maintenance. The facilities were commissioned in 2022 by the government, as there was no commercial interest then, given that these turbines are generally less competitive. Authorities stress that the private sector will continue to play an important role in ensuring power supply. The government is committed to partnering the private sector in ensuring sufficient generation capacity. We have implemented the centralised generation planting process in 2023 to coordinate private sector investments in new generation capacity that is in line with the forecasted growth in electricity demand. Mr Tan says upcoming advanced power plants by other operators will form a key part of Singapore's baseload generation for the future.